Hello, folks. What's up? This is Michael in the graveyard shift in the wee hours of the night with your daily trivia question once again to get your brand new day started and wrap up the week and get ready for the weekend. Happy Friday. That's what I'm talking about. And July is almost over, folks. We're getting ready for August. And before you know it, school will be back in session. And then it'll really be a stressful kind of a freight train. But anyways, until then, we'll enjoy it. And the answer to the previous trivia question was, of course, everybody's friend. And I'm talking about coffee. So after the United States entered World War II, it didn't take long for rationing to begin what was known as rationing so all military efforts could be diverted towards our armed forces and the war resources that we had readily available had to be rationed gas became the first resource to be rationed on november of 1942 much to the disappointment of just about everyone on the face of the earth coffee joined the list of items that needed to be rationed and at the time there wasn't a shortage of coffee record production of coffee was at its peak the issue there was german u-boats were ravaging allied shipping and sinking merchant ships so it was a shipping demand issue actually but nonetheless coffee went on the rationing list now 70 this is how it kind of works 75 percent of the previous year's supply uh that was what that what was initially it was cut down to then it was cut to a quota of 65 percent after that then the office of price administration further reduced the coffee ration allowing each person one pound every five to six weeks now that may sound like a lot that may right off right off the top of your brain that may sound like a lot but this equates to less than 1 cup a day okay so it was definitely rationed by all means especially if in terms of if you're like a coffee drinker like I am for sure so how do we cope with this this is what we did back in the 40s in World War II. Some coffee drinkers benefited from the generosity of non-coffee drinking friends. That was the first and foremost. They were like, here, I'm not a coffee drinker. I've got ration cards. Have, have mine. So then, they, then we had what was called Roosevelt coffee, right? This was like reusing grounds and percolating the coffee longer. Kind of really gross stuff as far as I'm concerned. I worked with the guy who... who who reused his grounds and I was like every morning like in, in, in when we you know gather in around the break room and have cup I was like I was like what what is this oh my god but they called it Roosevelt coffee back in the day coffee substitutes such as chicory and what was known as postum were made were created and this this involved like products like wheat bran wheat molasses even these were grudgingly mixed together with real coffee most simply just made do with less when it came down to it and of course as you can imagine a black market surfaced where underground source of ration goods at high prices became a supply source for those Americans who had disposable incomes and can pay for that kind of stuff at inflated inflated prices and price gouging. Uh, and that's basically what it was, was a price gouging network. Not many people could, could do that. Needless to say, coffee rationing was very unpopular. It had a lot of uptight people, you know, walking around going, Give me my coffee. Adversely, this adversely affected home front morale. And so on the very historic day of July 28th of 1943, thank goodness, which was the focus of the trivia question, President Roosevelt announced that he, he was ending the rationing of coffee. It was the very first of items to come off of the rationing list. Probably a smart move. <laughs> A couple of cool geek factoids. Sugar stayed on the ration list until 1947, till mid-1947. This was after the war. Well, I don't understand that. Another war victim was the familiar coffee can. Due to a shortage of tin, 
manufacturers were packaging coffee in glass jars. I did not know that. I thought that was interesting. And of course, it made sense because we needed the tin in those, in, in those uh, metal containers at the time. Now, my question is, do you think that you could have gotten by on less than one cup of coffee a day? In today's day and age, especially with people like me, there's no way. I, I, I am a coffee connoisseur. I love my caffeine. And of course, I work on the graveyard shift, so that's what keeps us going. Now, I also would like to know out there if you know someone who lived through rationing during World War II and what it was like, or uh, have you lived through that you know, uh, period yourself? By all means, I would love to pick your brain about rationing, especially if you had to do without coffee. All right, folks, let's wrap up this week right here right now get ready for the last weekend of july from july 29th on this day in 1987 the ice cream company called ben and jerry's agree on a cherry flavored selection the most famous of fan selected flavors named after this legend in counterculture rock music good luck folks Have a fantastic Friday. Go get some ice cream. Thanks for all you do. Peace out.